The Gaja Classic and the Rancilio Silvia, two big names in quality, entry-level semi-automatic espresso machines for the home. Both have features that make them strong choices as capable, long-lasting, and durable home machines. Hi, Mark and Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Maybe you're like Jason Stern who said in a review, after spending nearly $2,500 a year on my Starbucks habit, I figured enough was enough. He calls this Gaja Classic a great investment. He says what came out of his machine was a life-changing experience. Or maybe you're looking for dependability like Tron Cott. He's been making two four-shot lattes daily for seven years on his Rancilio Silvia and says it has never failed me, not once. Now, choosing between the Classic and the Sylvia can be difficult. With hundreds of customer reviews on both machines at WholeLatteLove.com, they have identical 4.7 ratings on a scale of 1 to 5. The Classic and the Sylvia are similar in many features. Let's go over what they share, key differences, and why you might choose one over the other. So first, what's the same? While both are single boiler machines designed in Italy, they have rugged stainless steel housings and are very close in size. Both use 58 millimeter commercial size and weight portafilters made of chrome plated brass and have large heavyweight brass group heads for increased thermal stability, which is key for pulling espresso. Both have three-way solenoid valves, a feature not found on lower quality machines. The three-way valve releases pressure from the brew water at the end of an extraction. This dries out the coffee puck, making it easier to knock out and reduces stress on other internal plumbing. It's a more reliable and user-friendly design. The machines also have nearly identical water capacities and cup height clearance under the spouts. One difference, visible indication of water level on the Classic and none on the Sylvia. Both come with a two-year warranty and both are serviced in-house at Whole Latte Love by certified technicians. So differences, while a big one is price, the Classic is typically about half the cost of the Sylvia. In fact, you can usually purchase a Classic and a quality burr grinder package for the same price as the Sylvia alone. You know, that's important. Both machines are capable of producing excellent espresso, but to do that, you want to use coffee ground fresh in a quality burr grinder. Another key difference is in the filter baskets. The Sylvia comes with standard single and double shot baskets. The Classic comes with a double shot basket and adds single and double shot pressurized baskets. With the pressurized baskets, you can use pre-ground coffee or ESC pods. So on the Classic, you have that capability out of the box. That means you can get into home espresso without a grinder. Having that capability on the Sylvia requires the purchase of a pot adapter kit. Another big difference, the boilers. On the Classic, it's 3.5 ounces, aluminum, and externally heated by 1,370 watts. The Sylvia's boiler is 12 ounces, brass, and internally heated by 952 watts of power. The internal heating elements of the Sylvia can be less reliable if not used properly. They come into direct contact with brew water and have the potential to heat when the boiler is partially dry, which can cause premature failure. Plus, that direct water contact creates scale faster, so you'll need to stay on schedule with descaling. The Sylvia's boiler does have more steaming power, but with the Gaja Classic's lower volume and more heating watts, it recovers to brew ready faster after steaming. Overall, the Sylvia has a slight edge for those producing multiple milk-based drinks back to back but there's little if any difference in espresso performance and with a higher wattage boiler the classic is no slouch when steaming. And on the Sylvia you have to be careful. Do too much steaming and that internal heating element can become exposed to air and burn out. So you need to refill the boiler occasionally when steaming a lot. For texturing milk the classic uses an auto frothing panorello on. This makes frothing easy but you do give up some of the ability to finesse the froth the way you can with the Sylvia's commercial style single hole steam wand. Just know, the commercial wand does take quite a bit of practice to use well. When maintained properly, both machines are designed to give years of reliable service. But if you're the type that may get inside a machine, according to our service technicians, the Classic is easier to work on. So why choose one machine over the other? As we said at the top, it's a tough choice. The machines are very similar in capabilities. The Sylvia gets an edge in steaming power with the larger boiler, but the Classic makes up some of the difference with more heating power. For ease of use, the Classic comes out on top. The Panarello wand makes steaming easy, and the Classic comes out of the box with the ability to use ESC pods in pre-ground coffee. If a grinder isn't in your budget at the moment, you can get into home espresso and milk-based drinks without one. In our opinion, it comes down to how much you're willing to pay for an edge in steaming. The bottom line is you can purchase a Classic and a quality burr grinder for around the same price as the Sylvia alone. Still on the fence? 
Check out the customer reviews of both machines at wholelattelove.com. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest on everything coffee. The number one source for everything coffee, wholelattelove.com.